Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here in Minecraft. We're not yet on the Citadel server. I was told to not log in until I was live. So chances are there's something that was not meant to be spoiled before you all get to see it with me. So we will log in. I'm pretty sure I'm in the keep anyway. Yes, looks like I am. So I will not use the map mod because that might also spoil something. Uh, is there a way to hide that? F1. All right. So it'll be a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look around to see what's up. For folks that are new, I am celebrating six years on Twitch this week. And I'm also celebrating three and a half years or marking three and a half years working on this medieval town, which is called Westo. And it's pretty big. And also I've installed a couple of new mods that I may or may not like, but some of them are pretty cool. I like this, uh, it's called Wake. And I don't know if I can do it here. Adds little splash animations when you drop stuff in the water. And like, if you're at a boat, there's a wake behind the boat. And it's all pixelated and very vanilla Minecraft, which I thought was very cool. I've seen another one similar to it, but I don't know, remember whether I deleted it or removed it or something. Anyway, it's very simple. It's, uh, I don't even know if it has any, yeah, wakes, wakes with an S. And then you can control resolution, opacity. Oh, opacity would be cool. I kind of want to turn it down. That could be fun to mess with. Maybe we'll play with that later. I didn't know it had all these settings. I just tested it briefly before I logged in. So with no no map mod and no UI, I can't be spoiled. Going back out to where I was working before. Aha. <laughs> I I see there has been uh an infest I mean a a gift, it looks like. It looks like something. It's very skulky. Oh, there's a cake. I mean I'm gonna go ahead and guess Cosmic Dancer. <laughs> just on on a whim i'm gonna guess server mate cosmic dancer and moderator cosmic dancer has uh left something well i can turn this back on now uh oh there are things in the chest which are probably the things that were used to make this, this is very cool and then there's a book book When I was one, I had just begun. When I was two, I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am six, and I'm as clever uh, as clever, and I think I'll be six now forever and ever. <laughs> Cute. Happy six years on Twitch, Joel. Enjoy this cosmic eyesore as celebration of six amazing years making fantastic content and fostering a welcoming, wonderful community. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you very much. Wouldn't want to have that be the wrong way around. That's really cool. I don't know whether these these leaves are doing this more often with the falling leaves mod that I have, or whether this is just normal vanilla, um, normal vanilla cherry leaf animations. Does anybody know? Sophie, hello, welcome in. J. Chris, good to see you, Cosmic Dancer. What makes you think it was you? Um, well, I mean, you did sign the book. The candles in here are a nice touch, too. I just forget that these make chime noises. It's probably ducked so much you can't hear it very loud on Twitch, but they're neat. Fun. Looks like normal vanilla to you? That's good to know. So the last time we were here was just yesterday afternoon. We were working on this house slash inn. And I've got some plans that are working out. For example, the inside space, this is working out okay. The basement came together nicely. We've got plans for a secret passageway. Uh, but I have not really yet selected the roof blocks. I'm pretty sure I want to go with... Um, calcite and diorite and stuff on the bottom however i was looking at some other stuff and i think i might 
I might insert like some walls in here, I think could be good just so that it has some sort of border between the left side and the, and the front. Like I feel like if I put stone walls or maybe we can come up with a different color or something unique. And I think I want to make the tower a different color to the, the house. Uh, we could also, because the tower is so big, we could use uh, the, the dark oak logs as a potential highlight. And I need to take down these two because I know I'm not using those two. I'm still not sold on this as a roof color. And one of the things I thought I would do before I got going... Oh, there's Cosmic. Um, one of the things I would do before I get going is... Take a look on Pinterest. So I'm going to pop down here briefly. And... I can never get this module to work right on OBS. It always forgets my Chrome websites until I like re reassign it. So if anybody knows how to keep the, I think it's a website module on, um, on OBS, how to keep it from forgetting. That would be great. What's it called? Properties. It is a, yeah, I guess it's just an URL source. Web source, I guess. Anyway, unless you assign it every time you log into OBS, it never seems to, to register. Anyway, what I didn't do yesterday, which I should have done, um, was share some ideas. So I've got uh, Joel Duggan Art on pinterest and i've got several different categories including a medieval category and then that drills farther down into churches towers roads but also it's got buildings and houses so i've opened those up into separate tabs here and when i did this yesterday i thought it looked too christmassy but it doesn't here and so i'm wondering if i can revisit mangrove a little bit and if i add in the wood along the the trim of the actual building it, this might not look so Christmassy, so we'll try that to see if that's something I want to do. Um, oh, of course, I forgot that Pinterest doesn't Pinterest doesn't operate under normal web. I don't know surfing rules. It drives me crazy. Uh, is there anything else here that stands out? That's a blacksmith. So these aren't going to be specifically houses. These are just going to be random buildings. Dr. J, 1960, raiding with a party of one. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate the raid. And McScrewgun resubbed. 35 months coming up on full three years, McScrewgun. That's amazing. Thanks ever so much. Good to see you. I'm not seeing a lot in here that's going to be something we can apply to this particular building. Oh, there might be something in there. Orange roof. I wish we could do blue roofs, but we can't. I've already used that one. So that's not, I tried that and I didn't, I didn't want to do it that way. Not sure why I didn't like the bright blue. Maybe we'll try a bright, maybe we'll do blue on the, on the roof of the, of the tower. I'm mostly looking for color combinations. The shape I think I'm going to have to come up with later. So that's cool, but it's trimmed in spruce, which I'm trying to avoid. Well, that's interesting. It's got a light trim instead of a dark trim. I could try that. I don't think that would look good, but we'll give it a go. I just want to do something different and have it look like it's part of the area, but not necessarily part of the town. That makes sense. And then under houses, this is going to have some overlap, but it's going to have more roofs, I think. Yeah, I really wish we had blue roof blocks in Minecraft. Oh, mossy roof. That was the thing we hadn't tried. I can try that on the back, maybe. 
Let's see what that looks like. Try that on the back. Not seeing anything that really jumps out at me. I use this on the house that's the farm in the middle of the, the valley as a kind of jumping off point, and I've, I've made it far too large. Ah. Uh. Now it doesn't know where I am. Pinterest sucks. Like, who designed the website to work like this? Like, come on. Try not to use a lot of Minecraft as reference because then I end up just copying someone's build by accident. It's a green roof there. All right, I've got a couple ideas I can try. Oh, you're taking it down already? That was very cool. Thanks very much. Not that you're taking it down, but thanks very much for the, the build and the, the drop off. Uh, Doctor, thanks very much for the kind words on the affiliate anniversary. Hey, you know what? A raid is a raid. I, I, it's the gesture, I think, that counts. I really appreciate it. What were you up to on stream? What were you doing? Usually... Usually Minecraft, I'd imagine. Uh, all right, well, let's get some moss blocks out. I think I can put the copper away. Safe to say we're not going to be using that. Not going to be using the deep slate. And I have some bamboo. Don't think I've done this. No, I have to do this the old-fashioned way. And you can only do the blocks. There's no green stairs or anything. Yeah, okay. What other green blocks? I guess concrete powder. Of which I don't have a lot. Like, hardly at all. Uh, do I have enough here to make it? Probably not. Probably terracotta would be the other thing. I don't have any green terracotta either. All right, well, I may not like the look of it anyway. So what about walls? I think I need a couple more shulkers out here. Uh, working on an Asgard planet build. Oh, wow. That's really cool. The logo for the Citadel Cafe is based off of the palace from Asgard, actually. Uh, I want this. Gravel.
I know birch is an odd choice, but give me a, a minute. I might be able to justify it. Oh, that's not. There we go. I don't think there's anything over here that I need. know if snow blocks would look good. We'll see. The planet has a radius of 720 blocks and currently digging out the outer space around it. Oh my gosh. A lot of digging. You've gotten really good at throwing up those celebratory gift, uh, gift builds, Cosmic. They obviously come together quite quickly. I just realized that there's something else we can do that's fun with free cam. I'd like to talk to you about car insurance. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have two of those. <laughs> I always feel like someone is watching me. That, there's a song in there somewhere. There's a song in there somewhere. All right, let's get this workstation. I'm not sure why I've decided to build this so far away, but we'll see what we can come up with here. Uh, let's go with, did I bring my dirt and grass? No. Landscaping, coarse dirt. Those are the wood blocks. And cut stone can go here. Okay, and what else did I want to grab? I wanted to test the walls. Oh, stripped dark oak. That's the other thing. So one thing we could do here is potentially add in something like this. Which I do like. I might want to go with a slightly darker color. We'll have to see what we can come up with. Elad Jenkins, hello, hello. Hmm. Maybe the bricks. And maybe sandstone, depending on how we frame the house. And then the other thing was framing this with more wood. That might leave not enough white. 
So the other house in the city was framed with um was framed with stone. So this will be a little bit different. It looks cool in here. I think I might like that. And maybe we can come out a little wider here. Sorry if the flurry of plink distracts you, by the way. Oh no, it's all good. Like I said, it's a it's a really sweet gesture. Right. I might have to travel to Somerville to get some torch flowers and stuff too, depending on what I want to put around here. That's okay. I wonder if it went higher. All right, we're getting there. It's one possibility. I do want to try something else. Now this, I don't think I'd want to put wood on that end because it would be wood on either side of the fireplace, which I mean, it might, might, might work okay. I don't know whether we'd have to then come in here with wood. I mean, maybe what we end up doing here is diorite, you know? It certainly darkens it up. I don't know if I like that very much. It works color-wise, but it's very noisy. Let's try the bricks. <clears throat> I think I brought those out. That might be a nice way to tie everything together. Got a little bit of gray, a little bit of red. I'll leave that there for now. I want it to feel pretty cozy, but I don't want it to look like a cottage, you know? Like I just, cottage core is not my favorite thing in Minecraft. It's also overdone in my opinion. So I'm trying to cut back a bit. We have to come up with something else along the bottom. Maybe andesite or something would be good. I don't remember, did we decide if we wanted to keep the two high windows?
right, well, I should take that down anyway. I guess we'll replace it with mud for now. This is part of the iterative process that I like about Minecraft, but it can be very um, time consuming, I guess. Cottage core is so 2020, said Eli Jenkins. I just think there's a thing where like it catches on and then like everybody that's doing Minecraft content tends to be doing the same thing. I did see a really cool cottage core focused mod pack, a uh, texture pack that like it wasn't vanilla. It was like it went straight to changed anything in Minecraft that was not cottage core into something cottage core. Uh, Concordia, c cocoon, had two C's in the first, in the first uh, two syllables of the word. I don't remember what it was called. We can only make stairs and slabs out of um, mud bricks, right? There's no packed mud version, if I recall. Dealing with all the new sound effects today. I don't know what would go there. I guess maybe a slab. I keep on wanting to turn left immediately to go up the stairs, but I've moved that around.
So it does feel a little bit strange that it droops on one side and not the other. And I feel like I really want to add in this dark, this dark oak, but again, that would just be a copy of the roof that we did over here. So there's a roof right there. I'm trying not to do that. I want to do something different. Done a lot of dark oak rimmed roofs. And the other thing I was going to try was a mossy roof. Oh, maybe we sh should put those the other way. I forgot those are directional. That's technically one, one, two, three. So this actually wouldn't be here. I know it needs a little bit of work, but I don't think I want to do a green roof. Nope. <laughs> What's this? Emeralds. Netherite scrap. Oh, very cool. Was that all in the chest? Hobo skunk, welcome in. Good to see you. Um, put these over here. What's this now? Oh, this was all the the gifty stuff in the chest, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. Yep, I don't think we're going to need this. Maybe we should put the bamboo in here. Is that kind of green block? So one of those Pinterest images that I saw 
had a light colored trim to it. I think it was in this one. Where did that go? Problem with having so many things bookmarked. So that's got oak colored instead of dark oak. So we try that too. I don't think it was meant to be wood. It was meant to be like a metal. Maybe it was this. Kind of made me think that birch might look good. Sure, kick me all the way back out to the top of the of the lists. That's not at all what I wanted. This is probably going to look terrible, but I want to test it out anyway. You know, it's not awful. Bowie cars, hello. It's not the end of the world. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. It might be a little bit too much like my wheat color. I've done lighter roofs before and they've worked out. Maybe we have to split the difference and use oak. Yeah, like I said, it's not the end of the world. I would maybe make this stuff a little bit more symmetrical, but. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to under free cam. I died after stream yesterday because I thought I had damage turned off for free cam, but I guess I didn't. Disable damage. Oh, disable free cam when damage is received. Oh. Prevents player movement while free cam is active. Allow interaction. I guess you can't. Oh, uh, okay. I guess you can't. I thought you could disable taking damage, but I guess not. That's fine. Rooster Mug, hello. How's it going? Man, 
Man, there's a lot of blocks. What am I not using right now? I guess the dark oak. Hey, it's all gone. It was never here. You were never there. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks again for the, the well wishes and the gift, Cosmic. I know there's a bit of a delay in Twitch chat. I can't, I can't go slowly. Doesn't work. I could reduce the speed overall, but I can't like slow it down with a hotkey. I'm doing pretty good, Rooster Mug. Another week gone by celebrating six years on Twitch this week, which is good. All right, let's just bring this roof part down because the roof thing is bugging me. And I think what we'll do is we'll um, pl replace it with some Mangrove. What I've got, I've got slab. And then I've got two trapdoors. Well, that won't work with mangrove. Have to be slabs again. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I was going to use this. Where did that go? Man, this full inventory thing. So that's a full block and then stairs. I'll just go straight up planks for now. We can always change it later. There is a hole there. Do you build much in creative? Hardly at all. Uh, I think the only thing that I build in creative is like redstone stuff that I want to test before I take the time to build it all in survival and have it not work. Or if I'm trying to puzzle through something new, I'll often do that in a creative world just quickly. 
sometimes I, I don't want to get through all of it. Sometimes I just want to kind of ballpark what I think will work. And the reason for that is I find that sometimes doing that kind of stuff live on stream is a little bit hard. It's almost too performative, you know, when you're trying to problem solve. All right, and then we had these guys. And instead we had those here. So the calcite is really gonna end up being more of just like a straight up um, highlight block instead of the full wall color depending on what we do here. It is a very big roof. I might have to do some sort of gradient as someone suggested the other day. I think if we go with the with this, we probably have to go with a red brick chimney. Need more of those. Let's get this going somehow. Play balls that we need, right? I don't think we can smelt a clay. This just turns that into ter terracotta. Uh, and that means I need... Oh, my... My tools aren't working anymore. We just did that the other day. Thanks, Cosmic. I appreciate the compliment on the roof. That's weird. We had these labeled wonder why that didn't work. The mod is still on the server. That's really strange. Huh, it's annoying. Item number 725 on the buggy data pack list. I got a lot more than I thought I was going to get there. Benthe 59. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope I said your name right. It was the rocket box. No, no, it was both. I did, I did the rocket box and the toolbox. I put a, I put a rocket on the rocket box, and I put an, uh, a, a um, pickaxe, just a regular iron pickaxe on the toolbox. T 
you have any entity fix mods installed, one of those caused problems for me. Oh, you know what I did? You're right. I installed um I installed a new one. Uh enhanced block entities. And it enables you to see stuff like signs from really far away. For example, we've used signs in our decorations. So you can see those signs way over there. Can I zoom in further? I can. So you can see there's signs that are visible there. Sante, that sounds like a heavy, a heavy retaliation. biome are we in here still don't know how to read this right uh sunflower planes I don't mind that color combo. We'll see what it looks like with the birch. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thanks very much. Whenever I'm trying to decide colors, Minecraft likes to rain. And in doing so, really bug me. Because it changes everything. Well, I can't tell whether that's good or bad now that I've made those changes. I think I like the oak.
I just think that that's a lot of red. I don't know what else we could do in the mangrove roof to make it not look like all the same color. Not that the, you know, the mud is that much better. What other blocks? Crimson is going to be too, too purple. Red concrete powder is going to be too bright, I'd imagine. Yeah. Maybe nether wart? That's so what happens endgame. You slowly but surely empty out your entire shulker box. Oh, I don't have any nether wart in here. Where would I have that? That's it there. Hmm. What's another block that's lighter than mangrove but still in the in the red range? I could also try layering something. Uh What's another good one? Actually, I guess that's the reverse. That feels lighter. Red terracotta, that's a good call. Stupid inventory. <laughs> Make it stop, Mojang. Another rack's good one. Red terracotta. It's probably about as close as we're going to get. Yeah, that's not bad. That works with the um, log, sort of. I guess it matches the log, the stripped log, but it's good not to have it right next to each other. I'm not sure why this... can't decide... Which one looks better? Red terracotta in your inventory does not look nearly the same as it does in the world. I think that might work better.
that could be kind of fun to give it a go. We'll do that after the break. We'll try, we'll try a chunk of it and see if it works out. Especially because some of this nether rack might actually be like really low where you're not going to be able to see most of it. Like it's just going to be, you're going to see like the top of it. And then we can hide the bottom of it maybe. Uh, Crimson Hi-Fi would be too purple. So it does not, not match. I don't know about Nilium. No, again, too bright. Very fun for like a sci-fi alien world, but doesn't seem to jive here. Anyway, I want to stick to my breaks today. So I'm going to step away for five or six minutes, as I often do. Gives you a chance to grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. Gives me a chance to reheat the coffee. And we'll be back in five or six minutes.
Steven. Hello, hello. It's because I can smell you coming. That's that's why I'm always on break when you when you arrive. I, I'm like, nope. Can't take it. I gotta step away. In the enhanced entity mod, you can turn off enhanced shulker boxes specifically to re-enable image labels. Oh, cool. Thank you, Grandpa Crafter. I will do that as soon as it's no longer going to be death o'clock. There's no light out here, which makes working at night troublesome. Uh, in the enhanced block entities mod, I can turn off enhanced shulker boxes. Apply. Now that may or may not bring back the things, but... Oh, it did. Look at that. They still only point in one direction, which is dumb. I wish it was directional. But thanks, Crafter. That's awesome. So yeah, the rocket box uh, has a rocket on it, but it's always going to point that way. Like, you can't, you can't turn it, which is annoying. Like, now it doesn't matter which way I face. It's always going to point that way. So north. The reason for that is because I think if if you were to put these on a wall, then they always point up. the The box points in the direction that the sprite would be in your inventory, right? Which makes sense. Well, that's cool. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Because I wanted to keep that that ability to render in signs. Like I want to be able to see my my decorative signs around the place. Oh yeah, the blocks are terrible. Uh, we discovered that yesterday. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to ask you. Oh, what's uh, Grandpa Crafter? Do you know the command that allows me to change the way that shulker boxes display? Just out of curiosity, there's you have to type it in, but it's a command that you do. Probably won't work. The, the um, composters and stuff tend to work better with uh, jungle wood. Sorry, you don't know? That's okay. The labels are twice as large. You mean in the in the inventory? That's what we're trying to figure out now. There's a video. Actually, if you do bang Joel's mods in chat, there's a link to the Shulker Plus website, and then there's a video that explains how to use it. Um... All right, let's tackle this. Let's go with another rack. Stripped. I need a lot more mangrove signs. Can I do that in here? No. Can I do it with logs? I could do it with logs. Aha. So I've got all of this. I don't need any of the spruce, I don't think. Remove this stuff from the inventory.
Sly Slime, good to see you. Thanks so much for the six year well wishes. How are you? What's going on? Across the pond. Thanks for coming in. Sorry, I was caught up in my sea of shulker boxes trying to come up with this gradient we're going to attempt to do. Am I missing anything? Another rack stripped terracotta. All right, let's see if we can come up with something that works. So this is a slab. That has got to stay mangrove. Stairs would have to stay. Well, this doesn't work then. I guess I have to change this into blocks if we're going to do this the right way. So we'd remove the stairs. The lightest ones would be the red terracotta. And I can't remember which I liked better. I think I prefer the mangrove trip logs near the top. And then I guess here we would have just with signs on it. Icosphere, hello. That's actually pretty good. I think I need signs on the stripped logs no matter what. And we might even be able to get away with putting some slabs up here. Or pressure plates. That's not terrible. I'm not, I can't say I'm in love with the red terracotta. I think that's where my brain kind of sees the line and can't unsee it. The nether rack surprisingly is working quite well. And it matches with the, um, the bricks too. Doing good, says Slice Lime. Just got home from work and also, sorry, got tied up doing something else here. Slow conversation all around. Hey, you know what? My my streams are pretty chill like that. No, no worries at all, my friend. Great to see you. Trying to see what this might look like with a lighter trim all the way around. Or I could just use the sign trick there too, couldn't I?
That might need to stay dark. Speaking of dark. Didn't think the red terracotta would be so bright. You're right. Yeah, it does. It does look really bright, surprisingly. I don't mind the gradient, though. I, I'm happy to try something different. Mm -mm -mm. So let's go all the way to halfway and see if we can make this look good. Now, unfortunately, I have to use the bottom of this because of the way that the mangrove works. Yep. Oh, I missed. More signs required. Yay for recipe data packs. Uh, that. We can probably mix and match a little bit too. Like right now it's just the very basic gradient, but I think when we get uh, a final decision on how this is going to go. Unfortunately, I can't put pressure plates here. So we have to make that call. I think that works. We'll bring We'll bring some of the some of the mangrove planks up into this level a little bit. I think I'm also going to change the roof line. I think I'm going to have the roof go in more of a a sag, maybe. And this is a little bit strange. I kind of want to turn that into another rack, but that's going to come down really far. So I may. I have to come up with something else for there. Justin Drive, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Without the signs of the top layer, it might look like a bit brighter. Yeah, I could do that too. We're also going to have a window up here, I think, to break things up a bit. Can't say that I like the light part there. Maybe that has to be spruce instead of birch. Like just this part. And then maybe we can make this mangrove. 
or maybe even that. And then I've got no signs on those, so I could use pressure plates there. Try not to leave anything inside because mangrove is really hard to get. I think we're doing okay. This is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So I think we do want to go with the spruce. I think that makes sense. Holy crap! Cosmic Dancer gifting 72 tier 1 subs to the community. That's incredible. I must have been sitting at a number that was 72 away from a round number. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to read all these out, but uh, Cosmic, thank you so much. Wow. Folks, if you're watching this now or if you're coming to this later on YouTube, which is Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, then make sure you connect to your Discord and your Twitch accounts, because now all 72 of you can join my Discord, which is either a tier one sub, a prime sub, or a Patreon membership. And that's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. But Cosmic, thank you so, so much. Wow, that's incredible. Justin Dive, you've got a gift sub right away. Perfect, that's an excellent reaction. Firework brain. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you connect them. Connect to Discord and then Twitch. Join us in the Discord. It's a fun time. Let me scroll up to make sure I didn't miss any chats just before that. Uh, big head face. Hello. Thank you very much for the kind words. And I think that's all that I missed. Have I played a uh, Hypixel Skyblock? Skyblock, no. I only play on the Citadel. That's all I really have time for. Uh, found it. Uh, slash Shulker Plus Client Flat GUI Render True. I'm going to copy that. Thank you, Grandpa Crafter. Oh, yeah. There you go. So now you can see the, the highlights. I like that they've changed it to have a little pixel border. Previously, they weren't doing that, and I think that works out quite well. I like that. Yeah. Now, if I ever want to turn it back, then uh, I'll have to remember that. At least it's in the video now. Actually, you know what? Screenshot. <laughs> Oh, speaking of shulker boxes, I need more food. It's a little weird. Might take a little bit to get used to. Yeah, it's one thing I wish they were directional. I think that would make a big difference. Well, I think I like this gradient idea. I like that challenge. Now it's a matter of making the bottom of this feel like it matches. And I feel like because of how dark the roof gets, this is now too dark. And I did like that uh, Pinterest one that we found. Did I leave it up? Uh, no, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, Obviously, it was in this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
so we can kind of loosely base everything off that. Again, I keep on trying to make these color judgments <laughs> in the sunset. Something else that I did not think of is that this is not going to get any light on it until at least midday because <laughs> the sun rises right behind it. Once again, Cosmic, thank you ever so much for the fantastic support. And Hunter Triple Five, holy smoke, 2,191 bits. And then Elad Jenkins jumping in with 500 bits. And that kicks off a hype train. Thank you ever so much for the support. That's amazing. So again, like I want to see what this looks like, but it's so dark. I can't tell. Maybe we'll just continue over here. more of those I do we've got Scotsman UK gifting five subs out to the community that went out to Viking potato no sorry sorry Viking Viking photo although Viking potato would be a very good username someone should jump on that black moonstone Mac shaggy 1977 Bishop and Courtney Nico. Courtney Nicole? Courtney Nicole. Octogen with 100 bits. True Purple with 100 bits. MDog95 gifted a sub to little Teresa. That's amazing. Thank you very so much. That wasn't right. Thank you ever so much. Make sure to you connect your Discord and your Twitch, folks. It's going to be the best way to join the Discord and take part in the community now that you've got gift subs. Grandpa Crafter with 500 bits. Wow, folks. Level 8 on the hype train. That's the biggest hype train we've seen in a long time. Thank you so, so much. I guess I could be putting those back where they're supposed to go. I don't know about that red wall anymore. Yeah, I don't like the birch. I think we're going to switch to spruce. Or not spruce, oak for the trim. Thanks so much for the incredible support, folks. Really appreciate it. Two and a half minutes left on level eight on the hype train. All right, let's keep on going with the oak then. It's not going to work. Oh, that looks too chunky. What if we reverse that and did double trapdoors here? Helps if I have more than one. Mark that down on your calendar, folks. The day that I did not have more than one uh, trapdoor in my inventory. Don't know if this is going to look like too much of the old uh, strip spruce or stripped oak. Joel does block names. See, that's where we could probably switch to the stripped spruce. Got it right that time.
Yeah, I think maybe this has got to stay calcite, maybe. That is a successful hype train. I got a level four hype train emote, but that was a level seven. And we got 63% of the way through level eight. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much for the support, folks. So if we do that, then I think I need to change a couple of things here. Maybe this can stay calcite as well. And then that way we can move this. Rain again. Like it just it just rained. Why? The thing is, I'm OP on the server and I could very easily just start clearing rain whenever it happens. But I uh I try not to do that. I did I did download a mod that I might pick up which is particle rain instead of regular rain, but I'm not sure if it's going to lag my system or not. I think it just makes the rain a little bit less gray. Oh, fun. I thought he was going to come out. This is the house of unwanted guests. Yeah, that's fair. Not a thunderstorm either. I guess I can put these away for now. The front just feels very flat. I think I might have to increase this part of it, maybe. Oh, that was unsuccessful.
I guess I lit up the basement, but I didn't light up the house at all, did I? I am so surprised that I'm using netherrack in a house. Uh, Gappy says, I wanted to ask what language I should speak in my videos. Native language is Slovene, but here gaming isn't really popular as well as the rest of the world. And when we're translating videos, it's a great idea. Uh... I think you're probably going to have a good bet in English, considering that most of, I mean, because I'm an English speaking, you like content creator, I shouldn't say YouTuber. Cause I don't really, I just post VODs on YouTube. I would, I would say go with, um, go with English. If you feel comfortable enough, if you don't, then, I mean, I don't know, you could end up with a very niche market. Just whatever you do, don't get any kind of AI to auto-translate. I'd rather listen to somebody um, as with English as a second language, just take their time and do some good content than I would listening to AI robotically talk. Whenever I run into a YouTube video, here's, and I mean, I'm curious what other people might think about this. Whenever I run into a YouTube video where it's clearly someone that's just typed in text and it's like a, a bot reading it, I skip it. I'm out. I don't want to even support that stuff because it's just, it's never, it's always weird. It, the, the cadence is strange. Never been, never been something I enjoyed. So this is actually off center, so we've got to be careful here. It's going to go back inside. Didn't make a wrong turn there for once. I have torches on me? I don't. Uh, I would keep it consistent. Whatever you do in terms of language, Gappy, I would, I would stick to it. If you want to get, if, you, if, if you're not super strong in English and you want to get better at it, then I think streaming and doing YouTube videos in English would be a great way to do it. Uh, do I even want to bother? Coral would be nice. Pink blocks would be fun. I'm thinking ahead to the stuff that I want to do. Yeah. I need to clean out my inventory anyway. We can get all this stuff back pretty quick.
All right, I saw concrete, which is already out here. Yellow concrete, pink concrete. No, it was this one. And I saw moss blocks. Going off memory here. I saw amethyst blocks. What was the other one? Coral? Yellow coral? Horn coral. I can never remember the name of it. Oh, it doesn't go there. What else? Another rack. We've got another rack. Don't care about iron. Can always use more barrels and smokers. Barrel. Smoker. Stop moving. Chiseled blackstone. Do I have any of that? Ooh, another quartz ore. I think it's in my quartz box. Yep. What else? Stop walking away. The one time I don't want you to leave. Packed mud. I used a lot. I was not expecting it to be this much. And, oh, I should have looked. So, quartz block. Yeah, I might as well get the iron, too. And cobblestone. Cobblestone. Quartz block. And I want to go see if I have that chiseled blackstone in the keep. He's not called the standstill traitor. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Blackstone, where do I keep that? Surely I have it somewhere. Could have sworn I had some. In the black one. That would make sense. Uh, chisel blackstone. Do I have a stone cutter? I do have a stone cutter here. I could probably just do this. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen. Hextavs, hello, hello. Welcome in. Uh, Barbare, thanks for the kind words. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's been six years. That's not enough. We've got some small mini block storage just outside of town as well. Might as well stock up for later projects, you never know.
Those are all heads. Be interesting if that data pack still works or how it will be reworked to um, continue in in 1.20.5 and beyond. I hope I hope it works. I hope we don't have to get them all over again. That would be frustrating. You are not staying here. If he would just leave after you trade with him, none of this violence would happen. We might not have enough netherrack in this box to complete the task. What's the Wandering Trader kill count out? That's a really good question. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not going to get lit on fire. No creepers around. Uh, statistics. Mobs. 40. I have never been killed by a wandering trader. That's good to know. Trapdoors back those. Need more spruce soon. Two hours. Thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to finish up this side of the roof and I'll take another short break. Just because it's been so awesome to have everybody here. How did you get up here? Maybe you were inside, I guess? Good riddance. We might replace some of these with, um, with stairs. Just to kind of see what that would look like. I don't know if we have to do all of those. Maybe we only have to do the ones with um, stripped logs. Yeah, it creates a little bit more of a patchwork. I think I like that. Still don't know what to do about this front part. It feels a little bit strange. Maybe these little bits have to be spruce or uh, oak. Hmm. Whoops.
or maybe I just need to do that. I'm, I get a little bit lost in detail sometimes when I don't need to. Maybe this just doesn't have to come across the front at all. Like, what if it was just straight like that? There's no trim on the on the image that I was thinking of. Cosmic has killed 133 wandering traders. Wow. Patience, thy name is not Cosmic. All right, before I get sucked into this again, I'm going to take another short break. I'll keep on going for another little bit here. Uh, but thank you ever so much to everybody that's been coming in uh, this week on stream to help celebrate the six years. I really appreciate it. I, the support is just overwhelming, and I, I can't thank you all enough uh, for all of it. And that includes just the people that are here watching. You know, like the eyeballs help. It doesn't have to be financial. Um, but uh, tell friends, let them know about this, let them know about uh, Twitch, let them know about uh, Joel Duggan VODs on on uh, YouTube, and let them know about, um, about the Spawn Chunks podcast too. We do that every Monday. Lots to talk about this Monday. Holy crap. Be right back.
All right, let's see if we can finish off these block selections. It's not too bad. It doesn't look too Christmassy, but it needs something in that white to kind of balance it out. But I like the roof color. So we'll continue that change over on this side. Maybe we'll get some calcite. The calcite will change a bit too because we'll be able to um, add in like concrete powder and stuff for textures. I don't mind the red brick. That's kind of cool. I also, I tried changing some settings on uh, sodium and it doesn't seem to make any difference. I, um, I wanted to do use block face culling. I wanted to turn that off and I still only get to see one side of the leaf. So there's another mod I was looking at installing, but I didn't have time to do it before the stream where it'll, it'll render, you can control how much of the leaf block will render. Because I feel like my, I mean, it's one of the things that makes sodium run so well, which is great for every other block. But on leaf blocks, I actually do want to see how dense they are. Now up here, we can probably do something a little bit more special. I absolutely missed that scaffolding. Fazu Battlecaster, good to see you. Hope you're well. Now we may not make this this scale. We'll have to see. That feels a little bit strange. Maybe we'll change the angle on that. I did not bring the right signs. Where is the roof line? Inside. Hmm. Gonna need a little something more. Maybe I'll have to put these back. God, that's so boring. What else do I need? Labs. Fences or fence gates? Yeah, I mean, there's lots of stuff that I can do. I just, I mean, the, the line itself. 
I want to have a little bit more going on. It's tough because it's not a um it's a it's a four wide section. It's not bad. So I could put something in there or I could have signs, but for now I think I'll do the signs. That could end up being a window as well. We wanted it to be. Want to see what that's going to look like with uh, andesite on the chimney. Of course, I don't have any room. Let's do andesite inside. Oh, no, wait, that's not. This is what I want. Finish the height of that later. I just wanted to get it looking like the right color. We may want to even take that all the way up so that it breaks past this. And I think I like the brown wood there. It's just too bad you can't see it from the front. So we need to bring I feel like we need to bring that that oak color into the front somehow. And maybe that's like a windowsill or a flower box or something. Maybe we just put it right on the ground. That might be easier. Still doesn't quite get it into the structure. I don't think these look good as stripped oak. I'm getting some weird frame drops now too. I'm not sure what's going on. Just started. It's like whenever I hold down shift. Oh man, can you can you guys see that? If I look if I look left and right with my mouse, I get this really crazy frame stutter now. Crap. That wasn't like that all stream, I don't think. That might work if we used other signs.
Oop, wrong thing. Has been happening all stream. They stuff for you. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not. I'm not being. Um, crazy. So I've, the last couple of days, I've spent so much time troubleshooting mods. I feel like my brain just doesn't even remember what Minecraft, like what my Minecraft looked like in 1.21. Because I see a bug, and then I get so bent out of shape trying to cure the bug that. I end up with weird things. I wonder if my mouse software is running. Sometimes that's a thing. No, it's not. So we may or may not want to keep. No. Dang it. Of all the spots, it had to be the one that had the organic tree on it. Sigh. I have no idea how that was done. Awesome. Thank you, Creeper. There have been times when I've been very tempted to just straight up get rid of Creeper grief in the game. Just because everybody on the server is just such builders. Yeah, I don't know about the half chimney. We'll see. So it might be too much red up there. If anything, I don't think I would use that block. I think it would take the, the spruce right to the top. I like the bricks. I just don't know how to really work. This connection is a little bit strange. Well, I was planning on doing the roof of that in the in the blue, but I think that would clash really hard with the mangrove, so we may have to stick with red on that too. I feel like we can go with stone or something though, rather than white calcite. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to be using the green on the back here. That's not happening. I think this is just like that. What we would probably do is get this down to one.
So instead of a stair here, I think we can probably do trapdoors. And maybe not over the door. I do sort of like that. I guess if we do that, we have to do full planks here. Or we could do netherrack with a sign on it. Or I can come up with something even darker. I'm not sure. Is there anything that would be that would work that would be darker there? I'm trying to think outside the box a little bit. No. Nope. What is darker than nether rack, but not brighter red? No, terracotta. Nether brick? I don't, um, my nether brick is black. Do I have red nether brick? I need more nether rack anyway. Yeah, it's really framey in here too. I wonder what's going on. I could try removing that entity data pack, but that I've had that going all stream. Don't remember what that book is for. Uh, red nether brick. And I needed more nether rack. Uh, my reload graphics is not R, it's some other key. I don't remember what it is. And they don't tell you what reload graphics is in this anyway. So it doesn't give you the conflict. I don't know if it was ever just R anyway. I mean, I could always, I could always just move it. Well, I could just switch to shaders and then turn them back off again. And it's still there. Reload shaders and iris for me is K. That's what I use. I 
This might work with the planks, uh, the sign on top of it. Very bright. Oh, then I have to get rid of that. That's tricky. I mean, that works. It's really subtle, but it works. Why can you just not jump off scaffolding? It drives me crazy. Right, if I do that, then I can't put pressure plates there. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks, CJ. Yeah, we're getting there. The only problem with that is that it, it then pulls, when you do that, it pulls the lines of the, of the, the planks down. So I think we skip that one. And maybe, maybe to just change it up, we do that. I am really tired of falling off of stuff. I don't know what we could put there. Maybe a mangrove trapdoor. I am surprised I'm remembering where half of the stuff is in this shulker box mess. These ones have a weird hole in them, which is useful sometimes, but here it might be just good to have the edge of it, you know? I think that might be better off as planks. Yep. And maybe. Nope. None of the bricks aren't bad. Just, just a couple. They're very bright. That's the only issue that I'm concerned about. Lab and then was trap door no 
have to do two slabs because it's a different length on this side. Oh, but then that hits the window. I guess we could use a slab in the nether bricks. The Nookie subscribing with Prime for 10 months. Thanks very much, Nookie. Appreciate it. Where'd that go? Maybe I can use a stair and split the difference. That way we'll still see some of it from down here. Maybe we'll just use a stair on both of them actually. A decent layering effect. Clears the window anyway. I'm still not sure about this front. See, that just feels weird. If I do that, I think I have to ditch this one. And then that feels really straight. Do I have spruce signs? Yes. Oh, they won't go there. Nope, 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 nope. You ever dislike something so much you can't wait to change it? <laughs> that just happened right now. I think it's about overlapping. I've got too many things that are lining up right now. So like there's too much of a line here. That's not what I want. Come on. Hmm. If I had an item frame on that with something in it, or a hanging sign, Because it needs to be, I don't know whether the sign is going to be at the road. The sign might be at the road. But there should be probably some sort of sign indicating that it's an inn, right? Oh, I have to break these first.
Whoops. Right, spruce. It might be better off to have a solid block here and have the sign go the other way. Or maybe that should be a light. Maybe we need to put a lantern there. Again, I'm getting kind of caught up in some details. Like the contrast the oak gives? Thanks. Yeah, we tried a couple of different things, but I mean, I guess I could just transform this all into oak, right? Like we could see what this looks like with oak instead. I need to fix the textures on my trapdoors too. Caught up in details, I know, Cosmic. Never a thing. Not on this channel. Not on this channel. So I think if I do that, the barrels get too busy. Maybe the barrels need to go on the bottom. I wish these were placed like logs instead of how you face. I think it should be, they work like observers and I wish they worked more like, um, more like logs. No, I don't know if we need barrels. That could be fun inside. Yeah. Probably going to get covered up anyway because I can see the roof. Yeah, that just feels like it's in the way. All right. Let's see if we can make a decision on the front part of this before I wrap things up. Let's go with that. Do I not have any slabs? I don't have any slabs. I really don't have any slabs. See, this moment when I'm trying to get something done and I have to stop and eat, that's what I was talking about on the Spawn Chunks podcast the other day when we were talking about ways that having excess amounts of XP could be very cool and like changed to benefit like end game players. And one of the things that I suggested was it would be nice if you were holding like, I mean, I only have 19 right now, but if I had like 30, 50, 100 levels, it would be really cool if the benefit of not dying for so long was you don't have to eat as often. I think you still have to, but it would be cool if you didn't have to do it as often. All right, that doesn't work.
I could probably make that a quartz stair or something. It's too many trapdoors. Normally I prefer to have the door be inset from the outside, but it just looks so much nicer here. I decided to do it this way. No. Uh, well, you know, it's not terrible. Maybe if I had an oak door, that would look okay. Surprise! Inventory's full. It looks good up close, but the moment you back away from it, it loses it. That's not the end of the world. What about this way? I also don't like that top part. That's a little bit strange. Works on a bigger scale, but not at this scale. Capaladin, I think there should be some enchantments that suck XP out of you as an energy source. So you could have armor with a sustenance mod and it sucks XP out of you to replenish your hunger bar. That's interesting. We were talking about having XP coming out of your experience bar for mending too. On the show, on the podcast. Nope. Whoops. Made some progress. Not a lot, but some. What if this was higher? Oh, then I'd lose the sign. Crap. Currently a slave to the gradient, and that doesn't connect anyway. Hmm. We might have to go back realize that there's a hole right there i guess that could be a stair hold on no because the sign is still in the way nuts that's annoying I've been looking at it from down here. Yeah, I can't say that I like that. I think we were better off with the spruce in the middle. The other thing I could try is just, I could just go straight mangrove or something. But I think we were better off with the spruce in the middle.
I'm happy with the top part. It'll take some some detailing, I think. But overall, I think it looks good from a couple different vantage points. Doesn't match the wheat anymore, which is nice. Stands out from the brick walls behind it. Once we change this, it won't blend in so much with the curtain wall. Yeah, I think it's good. It feels a little rich, but not bad. Nicely situated when you're coming in from the west. Thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I like the roof too. I think we need to do a little bit more, uh, maybe bringing these up higher. It's no, it's not so much a gradient right now as it's like a dark part and a medium part. I kind of need to do a little bit more. Okay, we're not going to be able to see much from over here. Even the shape of it kind of frames the farmhouse in the background. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to wrap things up because I got to go be an adult and go to the gym, which I'm looking forward to. I, I should, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just one of those situations where sometimes the time of day that you go can be busier than others. And if I don't go soon, then it's going to be an absolute zoo when I get there and it'll be very difficult to get stuff done. Where's the nether rack? Nether rack stuff. Mangrove. And just like that, we are cleared for the next time we play. Excellent. You arrived at the entire wrong time. Yep. Yep, we're basically done. <laughs> uh, oh, I still have a terrible tree to fix before I try to take screenshots. We had a creeper surprise us, unfortunately. It's the wrong block. Of course it's the wrong block. Wow, talk about frame drops. 19? I was getting 35 before the break. I don't know what's going on. That sucks. If I go for a walk when I want to like repair gear and things, I'll have to see what mod is causing these issues. Got no idea what this used to look like. That's right. I'll fix it up proper later. At any rate, we have decided we're going to go with a mangrove gradient roof with a oak trim, calcite on the bottom, and we are very much stuck on slash still working on the front of this. Uh, we will also, I think next time I'm going to take a break from the front and uh, work on the tower. Imagine the tower is going to be the same roof color, so that'll be pretty straightforward. And I don't know what we're going to do here. I'd like to try to do something stone, but something different. So maybe we'll work some bricks in. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll have to see what we can come up with for that stuff. Uh, that incidentally is just the staircase that takes you upstairs inside here. So there's not much in here right now. Uh, that's going to go. Obviously, we're going to get rid of all this. So next time will be one o'clock Atlantic tomorrow. That's UTC minus three hours for the time being. Is it still three hours or is it four hours? No, it's four hours now. It's currently 3.55 for me right now. I started three hours ago. So uh, you can come back then. You can listen to things like the Spawn Chunks in between streams. It's a great podcast. 
I'm a little biased because I co-host it. It's about Minecraft. I think you'll like it. You can also follow me on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And of course, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan is a great way to support the channel, as well as all of the lovely people here that used bits, that used gift subs, that used tier one subs, that used prime subs. It's all fantastic, fantastic support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, if you got a gift sub, or if you're coming in later, maybe watching this on YouTube, on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, and you weren't here live, check to see if you got a gift sub. Uh, a lot of gift subs, especially a big chunk from Cosmic Dancer went out. So um, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Discord. It's a great way to hang out with like-minded Minecraft players and other other cool nerdy people too, uh, all in the Discord in between streams. And uh, I, again, I just can't thank you all enough. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, Cosmic, for the lovely in-game gift. That was super fun. And we will see you next time after I thank mini packs who has subbed for 42 months which is the answer to life the universe and everything very fitting very fitting end to a lovely stream thanks so much mini packs sorry that we're just leaving as you're coming in but we're gonna raid whip so i think you will very much enjoy your time with whip whip has been on the podcast a couple of times i will see you tomorrow bye for now folks <laughs>